Welcome to Velocity, the Dulux colour forecast for 2011 and 2012. Today we are travelling at a greater pace than ever before, so rapid change is a constant part of our everyday lives. These global changes continually influence our colour selections and the way we interpret the latest trends in fashion, culture, environment, technology and design to create the Dulux Colours of New Zealand forecast. This year we embarked on a colour journey to uncover the key colour themes and influences for 2011 and beyond. After talking to design experts and observing trends from both around the globe and at home, we've interpreted these colour insights into six stunning palettes from the Dulux Colours of New Zealand range. Listen as industry experts from a variety of backgrounds share their thoughts and philosophies on the latest colour trends and interpret what influences our world of colour. Join us as we take you on a colour journey to discover the colours and palettes for 2011 and 2012. Well, welcome everybody. It's so uh, lovely to see um, Auckland. Uh, we've actually um, experienced quite hot days in uh, other places. It's actually quite nice to get down into the 20s again, I must admit. Um, we certainly, um, we've had a bit of a, a whirlwind tour of New Zealand this week. And, um, and it's amazing when you actually fly into some of these gorgeous uh, places like Christchurch and, um, and even Dunedin, just as far as the green that you see as you actually fly in. It's just magnificent. Um, and obviously a lot of the mountainside as well. So once again, we do thank you for your time because we know how hard it is to escape the office or the clients. Um, but sometimes it's really lovely to get out and turn the phones on silent and actually just, you know, think about, um, you know, colour and trends and design um, for a short time in the day. So once again, um, just as Jen was mentioning, we've had an amazing journey, a journey this year to analyse and interpret the latest in trends, the latest in social and design influences that uh, we've actually helped us create this colour forecast. This year we're really seeing the true impact from the global financial crisis, which began obviously back in 2008. We've had many, um, we've seen many discussions from key experts on the repercussions of, um, of the GSC, and we're certainly hearing a lot more around how our world is becoming so much faster, not just from a technology uh, perspective, but certainly from um, a lot of the statistics that we read, both New Zealanders and Australians are working much longer hours. Um, and if you look at France, uh, most uh, people only work about 35 hours a week. So uh, I think we'd all be pretty happy for that sort of working week. So global changes obviously are continually influencing our purchasing behaviour and our clients, which is more important for our business. And this really impacts on decisions of how we buy. This year we embarked on an amazing journey. Our exhibition involved travelling the world by train, foot, by taxi, by many, many, many uh, different ways. And by the end of it, we were absolutely just exhausted. But I've got to say, um, we just had the most amazing experience. Some of the fairs that we went to this year, one of the key fairs was in Paris. It was called Designer Days. And if anyone is ever in Paris around June, I strongly recommend you looking up the details of this event. It was the 10th anniversary this year for this event and they really went out. A lot of the uh, key suppliers, so you've got um, suppliers from Milan, you've got obviously some UK suppliers based in Paris as well, plus some, some Parisian designers. And they all open up their doors and even the galleries open up their doors to designers. So it's quite an amazing thing. There's a lot of seminars that, um, that you can attend and um, just some really amazing things. And they open up their doors so designers can see what they're working on at the moment and what they're sort of looking at um, into the future. So one of the highlights, obviously, um, that we look at when we're you know, just doing any of our things, we attend a colour marketing group workshop in Europe once a year. And we, we, we meet lots of different people from lots of industries, but it's predominantly anyone that manufactures colour. So we do, you know, we, we do workshops with people that are in the plastics industry or the ceramics industry or automotive. So it can be you know, a, a many facets of um, different industry people that we're working with. But all of us are there to really see what colours are coming forth um, for our particular industries. 
once we've collated all of our material, and believe me, there's a lot of material that we um, get involved with because we also subscribe to many other um, global forecasting agencies around the world. So once all this material comes, then we have to analyse it for our local markets. So obviously we look at New Zealand and there's differences between New Zealand and Australian, uh, Australia market. Um, mainly on um, New Zealand uh, pellets tend to be more muted or more earthier. So um, we have to look at that, analyse the trends and see what colours are actually going to be coming through from Europe. So um, with all of this information, we've come up with six fantastic uh, colour palettes from the colours of New Zealand range. And um, these particular palettes, we've interviewed a few key designers and um, an architect overseas as well, um, just to get their feel on where they feel colour is going in the next um, 12 months.